The United States, which covers a large part of North America, offers a wide variety of landscapes, reliefs and climates, spread across 50 states. Between the eastern plains and the mountains of the American West, lies the state of Texas, which has the distinction of having the largest herd of a horse known throughout the world, the quarter horse. The result of selective breeding which began in the 17th century, the quarter horse has origins linked to the Spanish colonial horse, brought by the conquistadors in the 16th century, to English horses, mainly Irish hobby horses from Ireland or Galloways, to the horse Canadian and Morgan. Other breeds are mentioned, such as the Arabian, the Chickasaw and the Spanish Barb, but not everyone agrees on the importance or existence of their influence. It was through the first settlers on the east coast of the United States that the history of the quarter horse began, more particularly in Virginia. The Americans will cross their horses with the populations already raised on the territory by the Native Americans. At the same time, Spanish colonization was accompanied by the spread of Iberian horses to the north. The most determining factor in the birth of the quarter horse was the craze for a popular discipline in the 1960s, horse racing over short distances, around 400 meters, known as quarter mile. Probably born in Henrico County, Virginia, they are practiced between two competitors on straight streets, on rural roads, or in fields. Initially, the breeds used did not attract the attention of riders, however the names, quarter pathers, short racing horses, and more rarely, short horses, will appear to distinguish specialized horses in this discipline. For nearly 150 years, he continued to distinguish himself in this field, and was known as the celebrated American quarter running horse. In the middle of the 19th century, long-distance races became more exciting, and the quarter horse would be unable to compete with the thoroughbred. He will be neglected and this will cause a real collapse of his breeding in the East. In order to revalorize the quarter horse, crossbreeding with the thoroughbred will become widespread, which will correct some of its faults, including its lack of endurance. The integration of Mustang and Western horses into his genes gave him a real gift for working with livestock, which made him indispensable on farms, and gave him the nickname Cow Horse. From the 1910s, breeders mobilized to supervise the lines of the quarter horse, called Steel Dust at the time. At the beginning of the 20th century, the first initiatives to develop a breed of horses combining the agility, speed, intelligence and sense of cattle took place. At this same time, a stallion, which belonged to George Clegg, became one of the founders. Later named Old Sorrel, he was the father of Wimpy, the first stallion registered as a quarter horse by the American Quarter Horse Association, founded in 1940 in Fort Worth. Wimpy is therefore registered under number one in the breed's genealogical register. When the quarter horse loses some of its markets, breeders will highlight its capabilities in the leisure field. Then its breeding will prosper throughout the American territory, then will develop throughout the world. The quarter horse comes from local horses crossed with the American Indian horse, Iberian horses, English horses, Mustang, Canadian and Morgan.
According to some, the Arab would have played a role, but this is unlikely, the horses of the native Chickasaw would be the main ancestors, the thoroughbred would have had a determining influence, and the Spanish horses would have mainly contributed to its formation, through intermediate of the Spanish barb. The quarter horse has a compact, athletic and very muscular body, which is the perfect reflection of its abilities. He has a very specific morphology, mainly due to his musculature and his general balance. There are different types which are linked to the discipline for which it is intended, including the halter presented during the competition of the same name, the racing, which is bred for racing, and the stock, which is suitable for work on farms. The quarter horse can wear all solid colors. Around a third of the horses are chestnut, the bay coat concerns 20% of the subjects, the gray is rarer, and the Isabel, typical for the breed, represents a little less than 4%. He is between 1 meter 44 and 1 meter 72 tall, with a weight of up to 680 kilograms. Selected for more than 300 years on its mentality and its kindness towards humans, the quarter horse is a sociable, loyal, faithful, intelligent horse, which adapts easily to all situations. According to a study carried out in 1977, he has an above-average learning ability. Generous in effort and work, the quarter horse, which is easy to maintain, has the reputation of being lively, energetic and having great stability in its character. The quarter horse excels in western riding, thanks to its excellent balance. He is capable of making very tight turns, strongly engaging his limbs under his body, and making starts, U-turns and stops with impressive speed. It is also often presented as the ultimate family horse. Its versatility means that it can be used in many disciplines, whether in the field of leisure, sport or work. However, in the general spirit, the quarter horse is inseparable from cowboys and work on farms. He is the most popular horse in the United States. More than 10% of the world's quarter horse breeders and 15% of the breed's livestock are located in Texas. The quarter horse is the most common breed of horse in the world, since it is bred in 80 countries and exceeds 4 million. His skill in working with livestock, his speed and responsiveness, were valuable assets during the massive development of cattle ranching in the Western Plains. The quarter horse, which is probably one of the only horses in the world to bring together so many qualities, has well deserved its international notoriety.